So now we're going to look at how to differentiate this kind of equations when we have two functions combined together. So we're going to look at this function to be a separated one. So let's say coin this green color function as u, yes u, and the yellow color one as v, v all but not u. Okay? So we can simplify this one as become y is equivalent to u v. So if we're going to carry out the differentiations, we're going to use the product rules. And this is what product will tell us. They tell us that we're going to keep 1 as the original one, which is the original u, times with the another function that is the differentiated one. Meanwhile, plus with another one is the original times with the one that is differentiated. So you can think of this way. Eh? When u sitting here doing nothing waiting for us, we are going to be differentiated. So we differentiated, you waiting for us at the side. Meanwhile, when you are the one that being differentiated, we are the one sitting at the side waiting for you. So it's always already differentiated and already and differentiated. So this is the concept. But of course, we can also simplify by wording. We say that V prime is eventually means the differentiated of V functions. This is the dv over dx and the u prime is basically just means it's the du over dx so that it looks prettier and much more simple and this is whatever that we learned today is product rules so let us see how can we use the product rules and apply to this kind of questions so we're going to put it aside first for whatever is already and we're going to write down whatever is there different sessions. So let's say 5x minus 7, if we take the differentiation of it, we get 5. Meanwhile, if we have something is power, we treat this one like a variables. So 2 go to the front. So we have 2 bracket 4x plus 8. But when we have this kind of situations, we're going to differentiate one more time again, whatever inside. So 4x plus 8, if we differentiate it, we have 4. So the 4 is going to times it again. This only happens when we have something expression inside and we have power outside. It means that we're going to do the one at the outside first, then only to do the inner functions. So this is our differentiated. We put it at the side first. After that, we're going to cross multiply. So it means that this will form as a couple. Like just now we say ORI at the one differentiated. And this is the ORI, and this is the differentiator, it's going to be the second couple. So we're going to times them together. But before this, we're going to simplify first. 2 times 4, we know we will get at, and we are good to go. So now, we can just write down as dy over dx is equivalent to the first couple times together, plus with the second couple. Which couple go first, it doesn't matter as long as they are at one line. So after that, we are done. But we're going to beautify it. How? Can we see that 4x plus 8 and 4x plus 8? So you can imagine that this is 8, this is u, this is v. So we have 8 u v plus this is 5 and this one, the pink color is u, right? u square. So have you learned about factorizations? Yes. We know u is the common factor, right? So we can take out the u first. After we take out, we're going to cut off from the original equations. This one left with u. So this one left with at v plus 5u. So this is the easiest way of doing. So now we have u bracket at v plus 5u. But what is, what is u? Hey, we know. u is basically just 4x plus at. And what is at v? At v is eventually 40x minus 56. How, how I do this one? At times 5, 40. At times negative 7 is negative 56. So plus 5u, 5u is just this one, 5 times 4x, 20x, 5 times 8 is 40. Then we just need to simplify it, 4x plus 8, and 40x plus 20x is 60x, minus 16. And this will be our simplest version, so then we are done. So if this is under method, yes, we're going to take out whatever that we're going to factorize first, then we cut from the equations. After we cut, we're going to expand it. So if we expand it nicely, 
we will get this one as our result. Then we will combine again. Then this is the simplest form. Then only we put it back together and we are done. So if just now I said that if you want to expand also, we do so that it looks better maybe, yeah. So if you want to expand it, you have this as your answer. So if you expand it, 4 times 60 is 250x squared. 4x times negative 16 is negative 64x. 8 times 60 is 480x and 8 times negative 16 is negative 1 to 8. But x and x is like terms, so when we combine together, it's 416x. And we are done for the entire questions. The white color will be our final answer. But now you will say, why won't go through this kind of hassles where we can just expand and do? So let's try to do together. So of course we can just expand this one. After expand, we just multiply one by one. 5x times this one times times like this, right? Then we expand like this. Afterward, we're going to group the like terms. After grouping the like terms, then only we say that we're going to do the different sessions. So 3 times 80 is 243x squared. 2 times 208 is going to be, huh? 2 times 2 is 416x and negative 120, negative 128x. If you take the position of it, 1 go to the front, negative 1 to it. Then you are done. Eventually, you have the same answer as the one just now. So, what's the point of doing product rules? So, let's see now. So, what if now you have the equation like this that's so complicated? So now what should we do is, like usual, we're going to separate to become two functions first, then put it there, then we're going to take out the original one. After taking out the original one, we're going to write down the differentiated one. So x squared plus 1, if you differentiate it, you have 2x. And this one, if you want to differentiate, we're going to change it to become the index form first. Then after that, bring this one to the front, you have 1 over 2, x minus 4, Half minus 1 is negative 1 over 2, but we know 1 over 2 negative. We know negative 1 over 2 is located at the bottom. So if you don't know how to do this one, you can see the previous video that we have a trick to do it faster. So this one is a 1 over 2, square of x minus 4. After we have two couple, what should we do? We should just cross multiply it and then put it in one line. So after they are in one line, we're going to simplify it, right? We're going to just simplify it. So how can we simplify? Hmm. So like just now, we can treat it as like a u. This is just v, and this is just v, right? So imagine now you have u times 1 over 2v plus 2x times v, right? So you can think of this way. Okay? u times 1 is u over 2v plus 2xv. But now we have one fraction and one whole number. What should we do? If we have fractions, we know this one can be converted to fractions. It's just one. In order to plus, fraction must have the same denominator. So this is 2v. This one also times with 2v, right? Then after that, what should we do? Huh. Since they are now have the same denominator, they can be under one roof. u plus 2 times 2 is 4. 4xv squared over 2v. So what is u? So u is just x squared plus 1. What is 4xv squared plus 4x? What is v squared? v is square root x minus 4. If we square it, we have just x minus 4. So x minus 4 divided by 2v. What is v? Again, v is just square root of x minus 4. So we know we can expand this one. So let me use other color so it's easier for you to see. So we can expand this one. We have x squared plus 1 plus 4x squared minus 16 over 2 square root x minus 4, right? But x squared and 4x squared can be simplified together. I like it in the left hand side. 5x squared. So this one is negative 16x, right? This one is 4x times negative 4. Supposed to be negative 16x. And don't forget the plus 1 in the middle here. And the denominator is going to be 2 square root x minus 4. Then we are done for this kind of complicated problems. Let's have a recap. Once we have this form, just make sure that we're going to divide it by 1 so that this one becomes a fraction. 
after that, to make sure that they have the same denominators, the one going to times with the one which is 2 square root of x minus 4. Since we times it at the denominators, we're going to do the same to the numerators. But just for a reminder, when you have root of something times root of something, you will get just the whatever is inside the root. Same thing for this one. Root x minus 4 times root x minus 4 is supposed to just get x minus 4. Then after that, we just have to expand 2x times 2, we will have 4x. And next, we're going to expand one more time again, which we have 4x squared minus 16x. After we are done with our expansions, we have the both same denominators. Now we can just combine together. So once we combine together, we see that we have the like terms here, x squared plus 4x squared. Now we have 5x squared and bam, that is our answer. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more video like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.